Today we're going to talk about training and how it could possibly work in Outriders and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about training in Outriders and if you guys want to see more Outriders content in the form of class builds, legendary farming, official and fan made lore, news, updates and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any video. Okay, so let's get this out of the way before anyone says anything. I know the game is broken and I know it has more pressing issues that need to be addressed before even thinking about any type of trading within the game. I have said these very things in tons of my videos that I have made. The community already knows the issues, the devs already know the issues, the Publishers already know the issues. It's time to move on from the things that we already know So in this video, I wanted to talk about trading in Outriders the positives the negatives and pretty much the entire Overlook of what it could mean if trading did come to the game Let's start off with the question at the source. Why would we want trading in Outriders? Well to make it simple Raise your hand if you have spent countless hours looking for one specific piece of gear to complete your build. Or you were looking for a piece of armor or a weapon that had a mod on it that you needed for the build. And not only that, but you never got it. The feeling sucks, right? There have been people like myself who have spent 10 plus hours a day, about 6 days a week, grinding the shit out of this game to never see what it was that we were looking for. But while you were playing, you sat there and seen other people in the party get what it is that you needed, only to find out that that party member who actually got what you needed didn't even care for the item because they didn't even need it, want it, or were looking for something else. That is frustrating as hell, especially when you are looking for that Death Shield, that Akari chess piece, that Yugaki Otara's cowl, etc. This is all due to the terrible RNG system in this game. Now, before anyone tries to jam something down my throat, I know RNG is supposed to be random. I get it. But how many times are we going to get the same crap that we aren't even looking for or will never need in any of our builds? I don't know how many times I got the cannonball set and I just keep deleting it because I'm never going to use it. Now, I'm not saying just give us the armor or weapons we want, but I am saying that after you get a legendary, there should be a lesser percent chance to keep getting that same legendary over and over again on that same character. Instead of the devs changing the game code to make something like that happen, why not allow trading? Let's go over the positives and negatives of training, and we'll go ahead and start with the positives first. First off, if we had trading in Outriders, grinding and RNG would be less of a hassle. Let's say you got an item, whether it be a weapon, armor, resources, etc., that you didn't want, but someone in your team did in fact need that item or resource, you can trade with them, and then the grind towards the current build, and this is important, would be that much closer to ending. Or let's say you have multiple of the same item and your buddy was starting a new character of the same class, you could trade with them so they already have the pieces that they need. Or what if you or your buddy actually needed that item for a future build? You would be able to help your friend out and then they would not have to worry about RNG and grinding in order to get that item. Now, as good as trading sounds, I hate to be the one to play devil's advocate, but it could also be a bad thing, especially when it comes to those legendaries that are so hard to get because of their drop rate is, well, need I say, trash. Let me explain. Trading can be exploited in a bad way for those grimy people trying to make money, where those people who have unlocked the legendary that you have been hunting for uses this as an opportunity to charge people actual money for the same legendary that they have received multiple copies of. This is in fact another form of boosting where you charge people for your services. Yeah, many people don't care about boosting because 
they just don't want to grind anymore and just want the item or don't have the time to do the grind. The issue with this type of boosting is that a standard is usually made and is usually done on websites like eBay or Facebook Marketplace and people can charge up to like 200 plus dollars for a single item or more. You see it all the time in MMOs like World of Warcraft, Star Wars The Old Republic, Guild Wars 2, Neverwinter, pretty much any game that has the word online in the title, etc. So, is there a place for trading in Outriders? Some would say yes, and then some would say no. Others would say, stop crying like a bitch and grind it out like everyone else. Whatever your thoughts on the matter, I just want to be able to play the game and have fun doing it. Whether the devs add trading in the future or not, having fun is what is more important to me at the end of the day. So, what do you guys think of trading in Outriders? Is it something you guys would like to see? Or is it something that just shouldn't even be a topic of discussion, given that all of the negatives that we have already went over? Let me know what you guys think about the matter in the comment section down below, and we can actually have a discussion. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Need a place to play Outriders? Come join the Everything Outriders Discord. All platforms are welcome. You can make new friends. We do free carries for every expedition and Eye of the Storm. Get detailed information such as data mines, patch notes, lore, and we now host modded lobbies with high restrictions as well. We have close to 450 members and it's growing every single day, so come and join us. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below, and I will see you guys in the next one.